prolapses. Two words, right? But they mean a lot. You've probably seen them quite a lot if you're watching this video. If you haven't, that's fine. Pretty much what it is, it's where you fly your drone through the sky and you make somehow the drone flies semi slow, but all the cars and all the water below is moving super fast. And you kind of wonder how do you do that? Well, I'm going to teach you how to do that here today. Hi guys, my name is G Martin. Welcome to my channel if you're new, and welcome if you've been following my videos now for a while. Welcome back. Today, it's going to be a simple tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make drone hyperlapses. All right, not not super hard, right? That's what you think. Now, first off, let me start. Uh, I have my DJI Spark. That's what I'm going to be using for this video. You can always use any drone, you Mavic, uh, Mavic Air, Phantoms, even some off-range drones. It really does not matter. Today, I'm going to teach you how to go through and do this. Now, first thing, you need a drone, obviously. Uh, second, you need time because these hyperlapses take a little while to film, honestly. And that is not a preference thing. That's just the way it works. You can't fly for 30 seconds and make a good hyperlapse. I'd say at minimum, you at least need to fly for, I don't know, three minutes maybe. And that sounds like a lot. Like, if you think about that, you wonder how you can make your drone grow in a straight path for three minutes in a row without it going too far away or looking super fast like that. Well, there's an answer to that. DJI has a mode called tripod mode, and that's what I'm going to be using to get these super steady shots. Now, first thing, when you get to your spot where you're going to be filming this, you want to make sure that A, you have a full battery. That is very important. You need a full battery. You can't do this on a half battery. You still have enough time to do that because, you know, you, you got to find your spot where you're going to film. You got to get up in the air you gotta get all set up. I would just make sure your battery's fully charged. <laughs> Second, make sure you scout out your area. You wanna have, you know, cars moving, water moving. You wanna see the clouds rolling in the sky. Anything really, it's all preference. It, it's up to you where you wanna fly and what your time lapse wants to look like. Now, third thing, make sure you set your camera settings to manual, because last thing you want is the video to be switching between them while you're in the air. That would suck. It really would, because it would be light, and then a few seconds later, it would get dark, get light again. You know, you gotta account for that so make sure in manual make sure you set your camera settings accordingly beforehand before you start filming this is very important now now that you're in tripod mode when you're flying around you want to push the stick in any said direction and well there's actually two ways you can do this you can either set waypoints that is what quite a few people do I know and they say it works fine but I don't I do stuff differently I don't like that so Pretty much, once you have your path set, you know which way you're gonna fly. You just wanna make your drone start flying in that direction via pushing the joystick. And you just wanna hold that for like two minutes or something. It sounds bad, but it's really up to you how bad you really think that is. So once you do that, you know, you hold it for two, three minutes, you get your cool film. Now you have that three minute clip and it's not sped up. Now you wanna take that film to any one of your post processors or to any one of your video editors. I use DaVinci Resolve. You know, you can use Final Cut, you can use iMovie, anything you want to use. Now you want to drag it in there and you want to adjust the speed of the clip. Now this is also a preference thing. I normally set it to, I don't know, 1500 times its regular speed. You can go 2000, you can even go 4000 if you want. Some people go as low as like 800 and it still looks really cool. After you do that, your clip will speed up and it will look like a cool drone hyperlapse. Now if you're satisfied with that, you can leave it as that. But what I will do is go into you know post-processing, go into your color grading settings and all that, change those to how you want it to look. If you want it darker, make it darker. If you want the colors more vibrant, make them more vibrant. And then that's really it. After that, you have your drone hyperlapse. You can put it in any film you want. You can, it can just be a personal a personal film you have. And I mean, that's really it. So I'm gonna play some of those drone hyperlapses that I got at a few cool spots around my local area, which is Central Ohio. And that's really it. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. My name is G Martin. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. All right, roll the drone hyperlapses.